Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here, and today I'm back with another Firebot video. There's been a bunch of you who found my channel over the last however many years, uh, so thank you all uh, for subscribing, and I hope that this video uh, sheds some light on the big new update that is 5.61. As you might have guessed from the title of this video, there are a number of changes to Firebot that are gonna impact some of our power users. There are some really nice quality of life changes, and then there are some really cool new streamer tools such as the Firebot watch page. So we'll start with that. The Firebot watch page is a great way for you to see other streamers that are using Firebot. So what you can do is you can see who's live using Firebot. You can opt in if you want your stream to be featured here as well. I'll post a link to the page down below in the description. Um, it's a really nice way to see what other people are using Firebot for. I give you some ideas. And if you've got a cool setup in Firebot, it's another way for others discover your stream and see what you've built and what you're doing. Next, on to some of the more advanced changes. So the entire variable engine, variable processing engine has been overhauled. So from scratch, this whole thing is now rewritten to be much more future-proof, as well as to remove a number of bugs uh, that have been there for a very long time. There's some really nice power user features here as well. So if you're familiar with custom variables in Firebot, you know that you have to do a dollar sign, custom variable, then the variable name, every time you wanna reference that variable. Well, that has now been changed. If you want, you can now just use your variable name with two dollar signs. So if you have a custom variable named my variable, instead of having to put it wrapped around the custom variable tags, you can just do dollar sign, dollar sign, my variable. So this is a really nice quality of life improvement for those of us like me who use a lot of custom variables. Next, there are changes to how arrays work as well. So a number of prior array API type tags, uh, custom variables have been uh, deprecated. These will need to be translated to their new version. Uh, so what this means is that if you are using arrays raw API reads, things like that. What you're gonna need to do is make sure that you go through your setup and update your uh, your Firebot configuration accordingly. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description down below, but this will highlight and give you a resource for how the prior variables have been deprecated and the new ones that you'll be able to move to. There are also some really cool new features, such as the ability to process JavaScript in a protected sandbox way within Firebot. So if you wanna be able to format, in this example we've got being able to format uh, text input as currency, uh, you can run that JavaScript right in Firebot using the new JavaScript variables. This will give you a lot more freedom to do things without having to go and write a plugin to Firebot. Uh, lastly, this is definitely more of a power user feature, but you can now specify where Firebot's uh, data directory ultimately will be. By default, at least on Windows, it's in app data. Uh, you can now specify that with a different location if you'd like uh, by using a new command line flag when launching a Firebot. So if you do that, it gives you some really nice abilities. For example, if you wanna store your Firebot configuration in a uh, cloud drive somewhere, this is very similar to what profiles are, but it gives you more flexibility in where those settings are saved and stored. So this update is intended to drop on February the 16th, 2024. So uh, basically today when this video is posted, um, I will be going through over the next couple of days and weeks creating new videos, specifically taking advantage of these new features. Um, some of my videos are definitely out of date. They are more than 40 versions of Firebot out of date in some cases. So I'll be going back and redoing and updating some of these videos, to be able to reference some of the new features of Firebot as well. If there's anything specific you want to see, please let me know in the comments down below. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, peace out. Stay classy. And I'll see you guys in the next Firebot video. Bye.